Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. Well, today's the Scottish referendum and last night, overnight, we also had the FOMC that came out with a statement about reducing their bond buying programme by, by another 15 billion, but also that they wouldn't raise rates uh, with, before it was the allotted time. Uh, they kind of basically came out with a rhetoric which was a, a considerable period of time, which they didn't go into any details on, um, but the markets have reacted very favourably as to there is still going to be a rate rise sooner rather, rather, rather than later. Um, so equities, to a certain degree, bounced up in the news, first of all, hitting an all-time high for the, uh, for the US 30. Then people took stock of the fact that actually the rhetoric is that they will raise rates based on the on the economic fundamental data. The initial response was equities went flying up, thinking we're going to have a later rate uh, rate hike. Um, but then after doing a little bit more research and taking stock of things, there was a little bit of a, um, a, a restore of calm before we finished bang on that potential resistance at 17.162. The USD is just like just uh, gone great guns against the basket of currencies. We'll come back to that in a second. So Scottish independence vote today, um, I think there's still the, the mindset here looking at um, a, lot of, uh, a lot of financial markets that there's obviously uncertainty there and uh, we should know more by about 3 and 6 a.m. tomorrow morning um, and today uh, is going to be a big day for the, uh, for the, for, for the union and uh, if Scotland's going to go independent or not. So UK 100 falling in sympathy there, um, certain bookmakers out there are still uh, predicting that there will be a no vote. Um, but and um, and these things you can't really tell until the final votes are counted. So uh, most um, UK equities uh, feeling a little bit of pain this morning, but will be put out of our misery by tomorrow morning. So potential support 67.74. So moving on to Japan 225, this must be doing quite well because dollar yen has just shot up after that FOMC session yesterday, smashing through potential resistance at 59.87, and the next potential. Uh, resistance is this tip right here uh, and that's close to 16,400 so this level is the broken resistance now acting as potential support next potential resistance 16,400 and the technical indicators are just moving into overbought territory now so look at this dollar yen this trend here very strong uh, went very, very bullish yesterday closed that it's closed that it's high we're still going great guns this morning and we're edging ever closer to 110 spot 77 a hugely overextended move um, but lots of positive dollar sentiment out there right now so looking at crude oil west texas um, volatile as ever bit of a reversal again on that interest rate hike potential interest rate hike when's it going to be is the, is the main question worrying that it's going to put a dampener on demand of course because the rumors yesterday morning were that the the, the fed was going to be a lot more dovish and um, certainly the way that people are interpreting uh, the Fed's um, the Fed statement is uh, is more hawkish than dovish to be fair. Um, but we are at potential support at 93 spot 95. Gold um, hit its lowest level in multiple, maybe nine, 10 months. Uh, 12.18 is a potential support. If that breaks, and it actually ticked below that this morning, the next potential support is at 11.80. So certainly the pressure is heaping on gold right now as equity shoot up, shoot up and the dollar goes rampant. Moving on to euro dollar, euro dollar uh, also reached a multi-month low, or could even be a, a 15, 18 month low. Um, next potential support, one spot 27.46 on that dollar strength. We've got a bit of a hammer formation there right now, but the fundamentals uh, seem to be stacked against euro dollar in the short term. So GBP USD, it didn't come off quite as much as you would expect based on the FOMC, mainly because we had such a, a, a pressurized move on the Scottish referendum. As I said, the financial markets to a certain degree are uh, fighting back against the prospect of an independent Scotland, um, uh, as evidenced by this uh, significant rebound. Uh, we are trading above a potential resistance level, one spot 62.65, now acting as potential support. Next potential resistance, one spot 64.63. And uh, if we do get a no vote tomorrow, expect cable to be quite volatile. If we get a yes vote, expect cable to be volatile. Um, so it promises to be an interesting day. Keep your eye on the chart forum and insights. And um, obviously, um, it'll be early early morning. You'll know more about the Scottish referendum. Be wary of the UK 100, GBP, USD, RBS, Standard Life, anything that's got that, that Scottish UK tinge to it, headquarters where they're stationed. Um, because obviously those, um, those figures come out early morning uh, and certainly you'll know before 6 a.m. in the morning and remember a lot of those markets trade 24 hours apart from uh, the equities that open at 8 a.m. 
Economic data wise today, uh, re UK retail sales, US jobless claims, Philly Fed index. And if we fast forward on to Friday, well, actually nothing too exciting to, uh, to talk about. You got German PPI. Um, but, you know, with the Scottish referendum, um, it's all to play for. So join us again tomorrow to find out the result. Take care. Bye bye.